Today, I'm going to talk about the biggest mistake all beginner Pokemon investors make. I feel like any person that has gotten into this whole Pokemon investing space has made this mistake because I did it myself. And here's my first video I ever posted on this channel. I can't believe I've been making videos for over a year now, but my first video I made about you know Pokemon investing was called Pokemon Investing, Things to Consider. I posted it on September 10th of 2023. So just a little bit over a year ago. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit in this video, I'm gonna skip through. And you will see how much my collection has changed um, from just a year ago to now. This was earlier on when I was investing in Pokemon. I didn't know as much as I do now. Now that I've been doing this, I've sold some stuff, I've had more experiences, and a lot of stuff has changed. But I am making this video, and I don't know if I've made videos like this before, but if you're just starting to invest in a Pokemon and you're watching this video right now and you're thinking about getting more heavily invested into Pokemon, I am making this video to hopefully save you time and you know hopefully you will follow my advice because trust me when i say this i really really wish i would have known this when i first started doing this whole pokemon investing thing it would have saved me a lot of time i would have made probably a lot more money and it saved me just a lot of pain and, kind of, and not really headaches because i kind of enjoyed you know selling things um but depending on how much you have and depending on what you have you will either you know take a very long time to sell things or you'll lose a lot of money so i am here to make this video to show you I made this mistake and a lot of people made this mistake but if you just started right now and you're watching this don't make this mistake because trust me if you do and keep doing this and what i did you will regret it in about a few years now when you have to sell and this big mistake is buying tons of collection boxes tins just other products just random products i know when you start investing in the pokemon you get excited you just want to buy everything and you don't think you just buy whatever Pokemon products you find interesting and you think, oh, maybe this is going to do well because it has this cool little eraser, this pin or whatever. Um, and, or you're just finding a very good deal maybe for a collection box or tin and you just want to buy because it's so cheap. You know, someone's going to pay, you know, a little bit more than what I'm paying for because it it's so cheap, right? Man, that could be further from the truth. Um, <laughs> if you don't know, right now, I only have really booster boxes. I have some ETBs, you know, specialty sets or... Um, just evolving skies but other than that i only have booster boxes and this is the biggest thing i want to preach booster boxes should be your main thing in investments collection boxes yeah some of them are good i'm not going to say all of them are bad but for the most part i would a very good a big chunk of your investments should really really be in booster boxes i'm trying to save you a lot of time booster boxes are the most top premium product they're they're very easy to store they hold a lot of value i mean i've said this many times a lot of people know this but if you just started to invest you maybe don't know this booster boxes are the top product maybe ultra premiums are maybe up there too but they take up a lot of space booster boxes i'm telling you booster boxes are the way um there are some exceptions you know it's just some other products but really i'm trying to preach this booster boxes are the way um so i'm just gonna go now over uh, just skip through this video to show you how much my collection has changed and how much stuff i actually sold off um to be able to get to where i am now where i basically only have booster boxes like i said i have some etbs but really it's just booster boxes so i'm gonna play this video a little bit and you can see what i have here look how many dark sylveon v boxes i had from celebrations now i still don't think this was a bad pickup at the time but i just picked up way too many it has evolving skies fusion strike and then four celebration packs so I was able to get these for 20 bucks so honestly i feel like i didn't what i did wasn't wrong but i found out kind of the hard way um about selling them that you know there's so many celebration boxes i had to sell that later in the future oh my gosh i had way too many and um yes you could break down for packs or whatever but to be honest i don't recommend that really breaking down packs unless you have a very established store or something or somewhere you know you can sell to because loose packs if, if you don't know tend to sell for a lot less than if they were in a sealed box and depending on you know your status on uh, online selling people might accuse you of resealing weighing or whatever the case may be so i don't really recommend breaking down boxes even though some people say that it's a viable thing if you have an established store then you can go for it but i just don't recommend it so for any of these products i would just keep sealed and you can just see how much space it took up to t just keep these collection boxes because you got to think about it too collection boxes like these they're $20. If you're investing a decent amount into Pokemon and you're trying to make money, obviously, um, this is what, let's see, this is four cross and two, four, six, eight. This is about like, what, like 36 boxes, I think. So 36 boxes, 
if it's only twenty dollars per box, so think about it. That's only what seven hundred something dollars. That's not a lot of money. So imagine you were investing into these types of products in the thousands of dollars. You would have so many boxes, it would be insane. So just going on to the video, I just want to show you guys how deep this goes. Look at this. I had not just these. I had all these other ones, and I had the Charizard ones. Combined, I think I had like 60-something celebration boxes. Um, <laughs> it's a lot. And I found out kind of the hard way that, man, I was running out of space. Because as time goes by and you accumulate all this product, you will realize that space could be an issue. If you have a huge basement or something, sure, you can stack all the stuff. But then you're still going to have the problem with selling because you have so many boxes and whatnot. Um, but, yeah, they just take up a lot of space. And when you have limited space like I do, I only keep myself in my room. That's the only space I really have. Um, as you keep buying, especially collection boxes, they're only $20. You, you're going to run out of room, trust me. And... Um, Look at all this, man. These ones I remember, they're from Costco, if you didn't know. These were like tins that had a pencil case too. Um, I think I got them for like 20 something bucks. They were very cheap. So pack wise, if you're gonna try to open something, you know, these maybe are good, but investing wise, it's these random Costco products. Like some Costco products are good, like the 151 ETB bundle with the tin, all uh, the Crown Zenith one, like those are not bad pickups. Like those are decent Costco products. Um, but some of these random stuff, like these uh, Costco things with the uh, collector's chest or whatever, with the pencil case, it's unless you're gonna rip open packs or you're gonna, you know, break them down into just, you know, just loose packs. Uh, it's these take up so much space and they're not worth a lot. Um, and just keep going on here. You can see I had so many different products, man. Uh, you can see I had Crown Zenith. Like these ones, I honestly got because I was probably gonna open them, which I did end up doing. Um, these Crown Zenith uh, playmat uh, things with the Morpico. Um, these UPCs, UPCs honestly are not like, these are the one things I'll say that aren't bad like to buy. They take, up, they take up a lot of space, but UPCs, they don't get, you know, made as much. I mean, other than Charizard UPC, but um, UPCs are more exclusive. So this will be maybe an exception um, to maybe just only buying booster boxes. But still, they, look how much space they take up. This is a case of booster boxes. Um, a case of booster boxes, if you don't know, if you buy them at release, you can get a case for around 600 bucks. A UPC takes up basically as much space as a case of booster boxes, and a UPC is worth a, usually maybe you can get them for around 100 bucks. So just value-wise and space-wise, booster boxes are just so efficient, and that's why I'm trying to preach that so much to you guys, is that you don't understand when you have a ton of product, you're trying to invest a lot, and just buying a bunch of these collection boxes, it is not the way. Just uh, trust me. Still, I had, man, look at these. If you guys don't know what these are, these are the Charizard EX boxes from flat, like from XY. They had flash fire and stuff. I actually sold it. and this was honestly more of a short-term play like i kind of knew it myself like i was kind of doing collecting and i had some old stuff but these are very expensive and i was actually able to make a decent profit on these um but yeah i bought a lot of these uh old charger dx boxes it's pretty cool but i don't have them anymore um but i made some money off of them so it's kind of cool to see these ones i sold um a lot of people said i should have kept them but i sold them a few months ago and they're actually kind of declining in price a little bit i think there's a lot of hype um but they're kind of like in the middle now um, they're good though. Like these are examples of good collection. Like these ones, if you have them, uh, you don't have to sell. I, I, these ones I would actually recommend probably you should keep. These are an example of a, an outlier kind of collection box that I think is very good. This one I opened, I, I knew I was going to open this, honestly, the celebrations box. Um, but it's kind of funny. You can, <laughs> you can see how big this collection and it, it's like wide. It only has eight celebration packs. That's I think a couple, um, normal like main set packs and it has a huge figure. I honestly opened it cause of the figure. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool to see that I had this and they're still cheap. I think these are still, I think I bought it for like 45 bucks, like a, a, even a, like a year before this. And now they're still like 65 bucks. Um, so yeah, just some of these products don't appreciate that well on these like collection boxes. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but I had Dragapult Prime collection boxes, uh, that I got for so cheap. It was, this is a perfect example. Dragapult Prime collection boxes. I was able to get each Dragapult Prime collection box for I think like $14 and at the time the market price was $25. I tried to sell them in person for like $17 a piece and no one would buy them. So even though I'm selling it, I'm undercutting market price by so much, I'm, I'm selling at such a good price, no one wanted them because Dragapult Prime collection boxes, it's not a sought after product and um, like I said, you can break down boxes, sell packs, whatever, but if you're selling sealed product, um, and you're getting these random collection boxes, they might have decent packs and like celebrations. It was worth, it was a good deal that I was selling that. Still no one wanted them because no one's looking for these boxes. Um, but still going on, I guess, to just look at different things I had. Uh, I guess it's not much to look at because I have, and this is when my whole thing was in my closet. Um, it was kind of a meme back then in my channel 
um, because <laughs> I had all my product in my closet. Um, but yeah, I just had all these just different products that, man, that I, I sold now. Like I sold all these. I'm so happy I did it because now I just really buy booster boxes. On occasion, yeah, I, I will buy ETBs for specialty sets that I think are, you know, good. Um, but yeah, I don't have basically any, I only have the booster boxes. I don't have any of these products you see right here. All these collection boxes on this top row, they're all gone. Um, these UPCs are all gone. I could have kept them, but they're all gone because they took up a lot of space and I'd rather just buy booster boxes. These collection boxes all gone. And all of this product on the side here, I ended up opening up um, all of these like Costco things. I opened all of them up. All these collection box cases, they're all gone. Um, and yeah, all this stuff is not here anymore because I have found out the hard way that not all products are the same. They take up a lot of space and that booster boxes are the top product out there. So I know kind of a longer video than it really had to be, but I just really wanted to emphasize the point that I have made mis this big mistake that I think a lot of people make investing in a Pokemon. And I'm trying to save you time and your money. If you're going to invest into this stuff, please, I'm telling you right now, booster boxes, booster boxes, okay? <laughs> booster boxes. So if you watch all the way to the end of this video, comment booster boxes are the best or something like that because yeah, they, they are the best. So that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.